I believe that one of the graces that will come upon us tonight is the grace for the secret place. Hallelujah. Psalms 139 verse 7 to 12 reveals to us that God is everywhere. It was the psalmist that began to help us understand that it is not possible for a man to hide from God. 139, when you read from verse 7 to 12, just write it for the purpose of the reference that God is everywhere, is called his omnipresence, the ability to be everywhere. Are we together? He said, where can I hide from your presence? It's a question. If I run there, you are here. If I go there, you are there. If I go there, even in the midst of darkness, you are there. So it's an established fact from scripture that God is everywhere. It's very comforting to know that. That God is everywhere. But then he does not meet with people everywhere. Understand this. God is everywhere in his sovereignty and omnipresence. But the place of encounter has always been Old Testament, New Testament and through eternity. God does not meet with people everywhere. In the dealings of God with men, location, atmosphere matters. Everywhere is not conducive for a meeting place with God. Just because this is a New Testament and Christ has died and all of that, the veil has been torn, does not mean everywhere is a conducive meeting place. Are we together? The concept of the secret place is one of the mysteries in scripture that is behind unusual manifestations of the life and the power of God upon a man. When you see any man, any woman, any pastor, any individual commanding unusual dimensions of the effulgence of the life, the power, the presence of God, then that individual is a person of the secret place. God is everywhere, but he doesn't meet with people everywhere. Hallelujah. When you want to have a business meeting with an individual, you don't stand by the roadside to discuss destiny altering businesses is that true you find conducive places scattered across this nation probably this time right now are different important meetings happening is that true and for those of you who are familiar with world events the historic meeting that is going to be happening between the north korean leader and donald trump look the time and the extent of the preparation that is going in because two world powers are going to be having a conversation that can decide the destinies of millions of people and so the atmosphere the location the commitment the hotels the hospitality the refreshment every detail is going in that's for men and then we want to meet with God and host his presence and then we believe that just because God loves us atmosphere and location does not matter are we together every house every home has several compartments that reflect the value of the people you want to meet is that true there are visitors who can come and you just stand by the gate and discuss with them not because you devalue them they they you they have not earned the right to have access to your living room or your bedroom there are a few people that you can grant access to enter the house there are others you can grant access to your bedroom dependent on the quality and the level of discussion God is a God of the secret place. I told you everything that is mighty and noble in the kingdom is hidden. The concept of God hiding himself is a concept that if we do not understand, especially for, um, especially for believers who are not very balanced, this is the, the imbalance that not knowing God properly creates. Because you will want to say, how, how does a God who loves people delight in hiding himself the bible says that god hides himself in light 
and you will wonder why i mean if god wants me to know him should he not be around chasing after me why make the pursuit so difficult and others even advocate that god is not hiding anywhere you have god once you have your bible you have god you see when people preach look at their proofs look at their results wisdom is justified by her children don't be gullible and just swallow everything just because people are well-meaning it is important that you vet their understanding by the proofs that they are what they believe they know is producing god hides himself it's a system in the kingdom everything that is glorious is never revealed it is hidden it is your pursuit that makes it revealed it's a kingdom system it's not even just for god when you buy how many of you have bought an expensive gadget do they give you the phone just like that on no if you buy a phone or a television sometimes it's amazing how small the gadget is and then you see how big the um what they call it now whatever it is there's there's dunlop there there's another line there's another instruction written in german written in chinese written in english written in another language and all those details just for that little thing I've gotten a few gadgets in my life and I've been surprised at the rigor of opening them. Opening them alone, sometimes you have to rest and wonder what you cut this, you make sure you cut this. And why? Because of the value. Is that true? So God who is most valuable cannot just sit down and say, just because I love you. No, when it has to do with redemption, God is not hiding himself. He reached down to people. But when it has to do with intimacy and our walk with God, God does not expose himself carelessly. He hides himself in light. It's true. Are we blessed? Hence the concept of the secret place. I think it was a school of ministry students or so I was I was telling was it yesterday or when was it and and I was telling them that everything that is glorious hides hides it's called the mystery of the veil many people just believe that just because the veil has been torn the veil has many meanings the veil in the temple torn doesn't mean the concept and the idea of veiling things have disappeared everything that is glorious is covered are we together imagine if your heart was on your head do you know what your enemies would have done with it are we together just imagine that your heart was on your head where someone can hold it out of anger and squeeze it and kill you so god decided to hide it and covered it with ribs because of the vitality someone can slap your face and you feel bad and it doesn't kill you but someone holds your heart, squeezes it and does whatever, you will die. And so in his wisdom, because of the excellency of that organ, he hid it. Imagine if women get pregnant on their head. Think what the enemies will do with acid on those babies growing. Are we together now? And so God designed a system to make sure that the baby is hidden and safe while growing. Only revealed when the time is right. So the, the wisdom, the, the ideas about life help us to understand the principles of God. That everything that is glorious is veiled. If someone were to give you something and you check, you don't see the coverings around it, you return it back. In fact, there are products that they say if you find out at the point of purchase that it is open, return it back. God is a God of the secret place.